want to thank you, Mr. Frosch, for inviting me into your home yeah, sure. after a long day of work. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why you've invited me here is to see if there's any of the foods that you're eating at home maybe contributing to your high blood pressure. I suspect that it is. Mm -hmm. um, is it okay if we start with the pantry? Oh, sure, sure. Okay. Let's take a look in here. Okay, the first thing I see when I open up your pantry is a ton of soup. In general, soups are very, very high in sodium. Okay. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. As I go down, scan the other shelves, I see a lot of canned vegetables. Um, I see that you have leaf spinach in a can mm -hmm. as opposed to fresh. And half a cup of this spinach in the can has 85 milligrams of sodium. Okay. Not so bad, but let's take a look at these green beans that you have here. In a half a cup of green beans, there's going to be 380 milligrams of sodium. Um, I also see you have some canned salmon. Ah, let's take a look at that. A fourth of a cup, very, very small portion. Uh -huh. A fourth of a cup is gonna have 230 milligrams of sodium. Okay. So, I'm a little bit concerned about the amount of canned foods that you have in your cabinet. I also see some processed snacks. Um, I see some crackers, some Ritz crackers. Um, you purchased whole grain. Uh -huh. Why? You thought that was healthier, yeah, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, these crackers have 120 milligrams of sodium in five crackers. Oh, wow. It could be worse. Um, but you also have a lot of chips and pretzels that I'm seeing, salted pretzels. Let's take a look at those. In three rods, you're gonna have 270 milligrams of sodium. Okay. So that's about 100 milligrams per rod. Okay. okay. So immediately when I open this cabinet, I'm seeing too much soup, too many canned vegetables. Let's take a look in the refrigerator and see if you have fresh as well. Okay. I like to see, oh, do you have fresh fruit? Ah, this doesn't look real. Yeah. Okay, let's see if there's some fresh fruit in the refrigerator. Okay, well, the first thing I'm noticing is you have a lot of condiments in here. Mm -hmm. Condiments are a source of a lot of hidden sodium. Okay. For example, you have some salad dressing here. It's a sweet taste, correct? Right, right. But it also has a lot of sodium. In two tablespoons, you have 340 milligrams of sodium in this dressing. Okay. I also see you have some steak sauce. Steak sauce, I'm sure there's a lot of sodium there. In one tablespoon, only one tablespoon, mm -hmm. you're gonna have 280 milligrams of sodium in this steak sauce. Okay. So I'm not seeing many fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. Um, so it looks like there's a lot of work that we can do here to bring your blood pressure down. Okay. Okay, and let's take a look in the cabinets. You see what spices you're cooking with. Okay. So, you know, salt contributes to high blood pressure. And what I'm seeing is sea salt. Uh, some more sea salt. Sea salt. Table salt. Um, seasoning salt. Mm -hmm. uh, finally, some pepper. And then you broke it up a little bit with some garlic. What? Garlic salt. Garlic salt. So I'm not too happy with what I'm seeing here. Mm -hmm. You know that, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I think what we should do at this point, instead of talking and delving into how much sodium you should have, is actually meet up at the grocery store. Okay. And kind of look and identify some um, better alternatives for you to purchase for someone who has high blood pressure. How's that sound? That sounds good. Okay, let's plan to meet at the grocery store on Saturday. Okay, great. Okay, Mr. Frosch, I charge you with the task of finding some lower sodium alternatives to some of the things that we saw at your home, but I didn't tell you specifically how much sodium we're looking for. So I see that you've got some items in your cart that are low sodium. Let's take a look at those. Okay. So you got some 50% less sodium green beans. Right. Uh, let's grab the regular green beans. And how many milligrams of sodium are in your whole green beans? Um, these have 290 milligrams. Okay, and you picked up the lower sodium version that has 190 milligrams. That was a good start. I also see you were able to find some low sodium corn. Right. So I'll have you hold that. I'm gonna grab the regular corn. In my regular corn here, we have 320 milligrams of sodium. 
How much is in your version? Uh, this one has 160. Excellent. So you did. You cut the sodium down by 50%. But what if I told you that we could cut the sodium down in both of those to zero? Would that, that would, be better? Yeah, that'd be a lot better. Okay. Can you think of any ways that we might be able to accomplish that? I see that you like to buy canned goods. That's a lot of canned goods in your home. Yeah. But can you think of any other way that we could maybe get this down to zero? Um, maybe if I got like fresh vegetables. Exactly. Exactly. So I saw that you've been by the produce, that's why you yeah. got this head of lettuce here, but you don't spend a lot of time there. You spend most of your time in your canned and processed foods, which is the opposite of what you wanna do with somebody with high blood pressure. Okay. So let's go over to the fresh produce section. The store has a beautiful produce section, and let's see if we can do it better. Okay. All right. Okay, so now we're in the produce section, Mr. Frosch. This is where I want you to spend most of your time, getting okay. fresh fruits and vegetables. And we're gonna replace these canned green beans with some fresh green beans. These are gonna have zero milligrams of sodium in them. As long as you don't grab the salt shaker and add salt to it yourself, okay. what you can do is you can add some fresh herbs and spices. You can squeeze some lemon juice or some lime juice on top of them to give them some flavor. So these fresh are gonna replace all these cans that you keep in your home. Okay. okay? Th these look a little bit different. They look a little bit different, but in the can they're just cut. So okay. we can cut these and make them look just the same. Okay. And then lastly, you had your canned corn. We're gonna replace your canned corn with the fresh corn from the cob, or I know this is gonna take more work to get the corn off the cob. You can also buy a bag of frozen corn from the frozen section. Okay. That's gonna have zero milligrams of sodium. A lot less than your 50% less sodium that you found in the can. Okay. Okay, All right. excellent. And finally, we saved the best aisle for last aisle with the salt and the seasonings. Yeah. You're a salt lover, but we gotta cut back on that because you're high blood pressure. Okay. So I gave you the task of finding some lower sodium versions of some of the salt that you enjoy. And I see that you picked up white salt that yeah. has 50% less sodium. And that's good, that was a good thought. 50% less is less. But, but with 50% less sodium, it still has 290 milligrams of sodium in only one quarter of a teaspoon. Oh. And remember, we're only trying to get 1,500 milligrams of sodium in the entire day, okay. Okay? okay? So you got less, but we can change this to zero by choosing another product from this aisle, and that would be Mrs. Dash. Now, I see your face, I know what you're thinking. Mrs. Dash isn't salt, you're correct. <laughs> Mrs. Dash is dried herbs and seasoning. I know what you're thinking, it's not salt, but trust me, it tastes really good, okay. and I think you're gonna like it a lot. Okay. Okay. Um, I also noticed that you picked up some garlic salt, and the garlic salt has 220 milligrams of sodium. So did you pick this out because it had even a little less sodium than, yeah. the, than the light salt? Right, right. Okay, so that was good thinking. However, we can change this to zero also. Instead of getting the garlic salt, if you go over and grab the garlic powder, zero milligrams of sodium. Zero. Or again, produce like we just left. Fresh garlic, garlic powder, even better than the garlic salt. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, Mr. Frosch, thank you for taking that time to go grocery shopping with me. Can you tell me some of the things that you learned? Well, uh, I learned that fresh vegetables are always better than canned vegetables. Yes. Anything uh, else? Um, I also learned that it's important to use an alternative seasoning to salt. Excellent. So, when you have high blood pressure, it is hard to stick to the 1,500 milligrams of sodium a day if you're eating a lot of packaged, processed foods, or restaurant foods. However, if you remember a couple of quick rules, fresh or frozen over canned, and Mrs. Dash dried herbs and spices over the salt, I think you're going to be okay. Okay. Let's take a look at how that would look in a real actual meal. Okay, so look what we have here, Mr. Frosch. Hello. Your lovely wife was kind enough to help prepare these meals for us. I remember you telling me that a traditional meal for you would include something like fried chicken breast and some corn and green beans from the can. Yes, that's right. How many milligrams of sodium do you think this meal has? Oh boy, um, maybe a thousand? This meal has about 1,700 milligrams of sodium in this one meal. And remember, we're trying to keep it to around 1,500 milligrams for the entire day. Okay. So what I had her make up is some rotisserie chicken, some fresh corn in the cob, mm -hmm. and some 
fresh green beans. How many milligrams of sodium do you think is in that? Um, maybe half, 500, maybe? 150 milligrams of sodium in this entire meal. We didn't add any salt while we were cooking. And if you're concerned about the taste, what we do is we're gonna add some of our zero sodium Mrs. Dash for some extra flavor. To season your beans. And then you can finish it off with some freshly squeezed lemon juice. That's nice. Voila. Very good.